Hi, my name is Keith Nick. I'm the Battleship Operations Manager here on board Battleship Wisconsin. I want to thank you for joining me today on this Whiskey Wednesday virtual adventure. So, as you can see behind me, this rig, we have divers over the side because we're dredging the basin. Uh, the basin was last dredged in 2000 prior to the arrival of Battleship Wisconsin. And some people are going to ask, why is dredging the basin so important? Well, the, the main reason is, is that it allows us to do underwater husbandry. And the biggest thing about that is, is that it keeps us out of dry dock. As you may have seen in, uh, in recent stories, recent times on social media, uh, Battleship Texas, for instance, she's up in dry dock. Other ships, they're having issues at their moorings uh, because they're taking on water in different areas of the ship. Salt water that the ships sit in, very, very destructive to the steel that the ship is made out of. Battleship Wisconsin here in Norfolk, we're very, very lucky in the fact that the city spends the time and also the resources that we get in both through the city and also ticket purchasers to the ship where we can actually then spend the money to do underwater husbandry. But in order for us to have the divers on the ship safely, we need to dredge. Like I said, the dredging was last done in 2000. That's uh, 2022 for 22 years now. Ships going up and down the Elizabeth River have been dumping silt and mud and whatnot underneath the ship. Here at the aft section of the ship right now, if we're going to have divers over the side, they need to be there during high tide only, because if they're not there in high tide, it's, too, it's not safe uh, for them to be underneath the ship, because there's only like three or four feet of clearance in between the bottom of the screws and the bottom of the, uh, of the basin. This company here is dredging. They're going to be pulling 8,800 cubic yards out from underneath the ship, starting just here forward of the 40-foot uh, the motor whaleboat, going all the way back to the stern. Uh, so they're, they're walking around down there. The divers are literally are down there pulling out all this mud and silt using large vacuums. They get vacuumed up. They go through that pump, through the hose, and into that barge. Once the barge is full, it will then be taken up to Craney Island, which is just up the river here, just before you get to the Naval Station, and that's where it's being dumped. They bring it back and they start over again. But again, what it allows us to do is have a underwater husbandry team come on board and actually do the, the underwater husbandry that's needed for the protection. Now, why do we do this? In 2006, when the Secretary of the Navy struck Battleship Wisconsin from the Naval Vessel Registry uh, that final time, it left Congress uncomfortable with the fact that we now did not have in a ready reserve status any ship that had large guns, a platform of a moving gun, uh, these high caliber uh, large weapons. So Congress insisted that the Navy pick two battleships and they had to maintain them with four different points. The city of Norfolk maintains the battleship with point number two. Point number two states the battleship must be preserved in her present condition through the continued use of cathodic protection, dehumidification systems, and any other preservation methods as needed. Our cathodic protection system works on board the ship. It's checked by this underwater husbandry team. And also this underwater husbandry team comes, they inspect the hull, they clean the hull using the scamp, and they also paint underneath the water when it's necessary. This company is, uh, their, their name is Seaward Marine. They're home ported here in Norfolk, Virginia. You can also find them in San Diego and over in Japan. But Seaward Marine will come every year they inspect the hull. They send divers over to the side and inspect the hull. They'll use their big scrubbing machine, the scamp is what they call it, and they'll clean the sides, they'll clean the hull underneath, and when they need to, they will actually paint. It is absolutely fascinating to watch them install or to put paint on the ship when it's sitting underneath the water. But those things are done so that we don't need to use a dry dock. We do not foresee having to use a dry dock uh, the big thing about putting, going into dry dock, of course, you get the ship out of the water, you can take care of all those things, but it's a lot of re lost revenue 
It's not something that we want to do here on Battleship Wisconsin because I have these guys over the side. They're dredging. When Seaward Marine is here, they're over the side cleaning and painting. We still have guests coming on board the ship. When we're up in dry dock, should we ever have to go up in dry dock, that means a closure for us. We won't be able to have guests come on board the ship. It's a loss of revenue. Pay for the dry dock. Pay for the tugs to get us there and back again. And then the work, of course, that's being accomplished. All loss of revenue. We can't afford that. We're very, very lucky in the fact that, again, donations, the money that you pay for tickets to come on board the battleship, and the city itself, they help to pay for Seaward Marine, this company here, to dredge, do all that work where we don't need to do that in a dry dock. I want to thank you for joining me today on this Whiskey Wednesday virtual adventure. Thank you. Have a good day.